Hello. <clears throat> this is a short video on how to wire and program a mini OSD to Pixhawk. Okay. So, first thing you need to do is to program it. I have taken it apart, actually taken it out of this box and connected it to my Arduino. And the way it's connected is uh, very simple. Uh, the orange wire is 5 volts, the black wire is ground. The green wire is RX and the violet wire is TX. And here on Arduino, you see the orange wire, right here, right here, orange wire, is going to 5 volts. Uh, the black wire is going to ground. Uh, one more nuance, uh, you see another black wire here, right here, and this is connected from reset to ground. So this is necessary. Uh, the green wire here goes to RX and the violet wire goes to TX. So one more thing, one more time. Uh, don't forget to connect uh, with the black with the wire uh, reset to ground. This one, okay. This will allow you to program your chip. This one. So then you connect the Arduino to your computer and choose the correct port. Okay. Uh, once you have done that. Uh, you can pretty much follow this guy. Uh, sorry, this guy. Uh, his uh, channel is very useful. Uh, it's called um, Painless. Yeah, Painless three sixty. And he has um, a video on adding an OSD, OSD for FPV using minimum OSD. And there you will find a guide on the software which you will need and where to download it. I will place all uh, links uh, down below this video. So the software will look like this. Uh, here is config one, panel one, and I don't touch panel two, I just use panel one. And on panel one, I arrange all the necessary um, data I need to see on my screen. Uh, here you can see the number of satellites, seven. This is MavLink. Uh, this is GPS track. This is the heading, the compass. And same uh, date is here, number of degrees. Uh, this is heading home. This is distance to home. Uh, this is the altitude. This is the speed. This is the mode, the latitude and longitude, warnings, uh, time flying, <coughs> battery voltage, and how percent, uh, the number of per percent of battery used. Okay, so you can arrange this uh, up to your liking using these uh, tabs and you can move things around here, for example, like this. Okay, so uh, when, when you want to flush it using this mode of connection, you will pr press this button. And simultaneously, you need to press reset button 
this is the reset button on your mini OSD. Now, uh, I will show you what happens if I don't press the button. Watch. I press save current to OSD and I have a message fail to talk to bootloader. Okay. Now, uh, just for the sake of interest, what I will do is I will do the same thing, but I will press this button right here. I don't know if I can do it. Okay, let me do it. It's difficult for me to do it and to record it. So let me do it. I will play, place my camera here. And I will save, save current to us there. And the message I get now is done writing panel one data. All I did was I press this button right here, the reset button on the menu OS there. Now, as for wiring the OS there, right here, to Pixfork. Over there. So you will connect uh, your um, wires to Telem 2. Right there. Now, the way they are connected is um, the red wire right here uh, goes to 5 volts. Over there. The black wire, this black wire right here. This black wire, this is ground. See, it's, uh, it's apart from all other wires. There are two, there is a space of two wires here and the black wire. This wire is ground and it is connected to ground right here. This is ground. Now, next to the red wire, this wire, this wire right here, right next to it, this black wire, is uh, your wire, which will be RX. This is RX wire, black right here. This wire is RX. And it is this wire right here next to the red wire and obviously the next black wire this black wire is tx and it will be connected here this is the black wire tx next I want to connect my camera to my OS, mini OSD. And the way I do it is uh, I have four wires coming out of camera. These wires I do not use, they are for uh, accumulators. I use onboard accumulators on the camera. I only use yellow and black from coming out from the camera, which is the signal and ground. And the yellow wire, I connect to um, the upper part called V in, uh, video signal in, right here, the upper part of my mini OS there. as you can see, the upper part. Yes. And the black wire, this black wire, I connect to ground. Right here, ground. So V in and ground, I connect. Like that. Next, I have the transmitter under my quadrocopter right here. This is my transmitter. And there are three wires coming out of it. 
these are the three wires right here. The yellow is the signal, the red is 12 volts and black is ground. And I connect them to the underneath mini OS the yellow to what is called V out, red to 12 volts and black to ground. Like that. Please look. The upper part was camera and the lower part right there is from uh, the transmitter. So the upper part is uh, V in, which is video in, coming from the camera. And lower part is V out, video out. Actually, I, think, I hope you can see this. Okay. Now I have connected uh, with the 12 volts my display and I have connected uh, the quadrocopter via 12, with 12 volts and you can see my OS there working and this is the result. What have we programmed we get? We get uh, the state, uh, we get the following. This is uh, GPS, the number of satellites. This is GPS lock. It's not locked, as you can see. Modeling, heartbeat. We have some heartbeat. Right? Then we have compass right here. Direction it is heading. And the number of degrees, 293. Right? And then we get um, the speed, ground speed, and the altitude, one meter. The mode is stabilized, latitude and longitude, uh, state of the controller, horizon. And uh, we get the number uh, of minutes it is running. The flight is now 1.57, uh, or 2 minutes, as you can see. The battery voltage and the uh, percent of battery that I have now. Yes. Uh, the only thing missing is direction home. And what I will do is next is I will try to program it again and see um, that it is present here. Um, and the way, uh, the reason it is not showing now is because, uh, and you're showing picture because I have no camera. The camera was taken out, as you can see, and it is being charged over there because it is out of um, uh, energy. Okay, uh, so I have tried flashing this uh, again. As you can see, uh, this is what it should look like. And this is uh, what it actually looks like. So uh, again, uh, I suppose it doesn't show uh, this uh, home direction and distance to home, as you can see here. It's between, should be between these two lines, between horizon and this is horizon and this is uh, compass, it should be here. I suppose it doesn't show because uh, there is uh, no GPS lock. And so it doesn't know what is home and how far it is from home. But we do get modeling uh, GPS zero satellites. Uh, we are at home now. Uh, we get um, uh, compass direction, we get speed zero, altitude one meter, more stabilized, latitude and longitude doesn't have anything because 
there is no GPS. It's disarmed now. Two minutes into flight. 12.3 uh, uh, volts on battery and 96% is uh, still there. So this is good. And this was taken apart and it's connected like, the, like I showed in the previous video. Uh, previous part right here. So the connections uh, I explained in upper part and lower part. And as you can see, it is working. So I hope, uh, guys, it helps you to connect your um, mini OS there to Pixhawk. Thank you. Okay, so this is the final part of the video. Here you can see camera. It is being connected here. Right here, it's connected to the quadrocopter and uh, here is the screen display and display shows us um, all the things which I want which are um, number of satellites which is zero mob link or heartbeat right here uh, GPS lock it's not locked now uh, this is the heading, I show the compass, and this is compass 2 in degrees. This is the altitude, 1 meter, ground speed 0, mode stabilized, waypoint 0, there are no waypoints, um, climb rate 0, latitude, longitude, and most important, uh, uh, is the time flying 142 uh, percent of battery left 96 percent and the voltage now 12 24 25 and of course the horizon right here thank you for uh, watching this video if you have any questions please write to me my name is Gennady Kozak